morning again sword friends so the internet's still down we're still reading magazines like the 1800s and a while back Matt Easton did a video about the um, that forged in fire show and how the testing is kind of flawed because when you throw the human element into it no two cuts are exactly alike so it's kind of unfair to compare whatever Doug Markaita or whatever fucking famous jackass is doing the testing hold that thought alright so where was I before I was rudely interrupted by the customers the fuck do they think this is a fucking business or something but anyway so when you throw the human element into it like you can't really compare blades to blades because those cuts aren't exactly the same no matter how perfect your form is there's gonna be differences and I would think that Blade Magazine would know that, but they have this article about testing these uh, contemporary daggers. And look at that. The Kershaw was the only test blade that could slash through a water-filled plastic bottle with so little disturbance that it left a half-full bottle standing. Or, in much less words, a static cut. But if you'll notice, they didn't even freaking cut through the entirety of the bottle and I and they were able to do that with the $50 Kershaw I would assume that someone with the same amount of fucking talent would be able to do it with a $390 Spartan or fucking um or what the $150 whatever that is or the $400 Winkler like they should have known not to put that in print man like that's fucking user fucking talent not knife and if you don't believe me check out the backyard samurai like he can pull off zero distance statics with like a Hanway fucking claymore that I know is probably nowhere near as sharp as this Kershaw so, that's about all I got to say about that. And while we got the Blade magazine open, check out The Dragonfly by David Mirable. I believe this is the blade that's owned by, I believe his name is Joe Perini. I don't know, I'll try and link it in the comments or the description, but man, isn't that a beautiful fucking Tanto Wakazashi whatever it's fucking beautiful and if you'll notice makers list price for a similar piece contact David Mirable for more information that's gonna probably run you a solid 10 grand so unless you're a fucking sound blow or fucking an executive probably not gonna get one of these in your life but it's fun to dream. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.